My name is Dr. Andrea Trowers and I'm a board certified dermatologist practicing in North Miami. A big reason why I became a dermatologist is because I suffered from really bad acne when I was younger. So it's really important to me that my patients really understand what's going on with their skin and why I prescribe the treatments that I have. My own dermatologist was not that good and I didn't really understand why I was on the medications that he prescribed. Granted, every person's situation is different in terms of why they're breaking out. So it's really important to truly understand the underlying reasons that you're evaluated and treated by a board certified dermatologist. But this may help you to understand some of the reasons why you do have acne and what are some of the treatments that can help. So every time when I see a new acne patient, we go over all of their prior treatments how long their acne has been going on for, and any potential causes such as hormones or other types of medications that they may be on, or how it might be affecting their condition. So I start off by explaining to people a lot of the myths that are so common, we heard like five of them today in my office, pertaining to why people develop acne. When you develop acne, it actually has nothing to do, in most cases, with what you eat, makeup, or how much you sweat. Also, drinking a bunch of water makes absolutely no difference in terms of how many pimples you're developing. For every one of our patients, we also draw out a picture to explain to them the underlying triggers of how acne works. Once again, this doesn't pertain to every case, but in the majority. So we draw out this picture for every patient. Please remember that I am not a professional artist. So all over your skin, you have pores. And attached to every pore is an oil gland. And then lining the inside of the pore is a thin layer of skin cells. So for people who have acne, it's something where these skin cells are too sticky and form a clog. Everybody's skin is different. Just like some people have brown eyes, some people have blue eyes, some people have sticky skin cells. And this clog is what's commonly known as a black head or a white head, or the technical name is a comedone. So this is the first step in the development of a pimple. The bacteria that causes acne is called Propionobacterium acnes. I don't think I can draw my P upside down, but I'm gonna draw it sideways. And that bacteria actually lives in every single solitary person's skin, even people who have perfect skin. The reason why some people develop pimples and some people don't is because some people are just more allergic to this bacteria. So it all comes down to your immune system. So if you're allergic to Propionobacterium acnes, that's when you get those big swollen red bumps that are more like the nodules or the hard cysts that you feel underneath the surface of the skin. There's different treatments that are prescription strength that we prescribe for acne, but it's important that you're addressing both parts of your acne. You wanna make sure that we're helping to knock down the bacteria, and at the same time that we're also addressing these sticky skin cells and getting rid of them. The soaps and lotions that you use in combination with your prescription medications can make a big difference in how you tolerate the treatments that are prescribed. I personally wish there was a magical cure for acne and I could get rid of everybody's acne within a week, but no doctor has a magic wand. And it really takes approximately three to four months to get somebody totally clear. For my patients, if they're not clearing as quickly as I think they should, then it's really important to me that we're changing around the prescriptions that we have and really getting their feedback. Luckily, besides myself, a number of my staff have also suffered from acne, so they really have a better understanding of what you're going through, and they're very good in terms of sitting down with the patients and going through with them step by step how their acne should be treated. So if you're interested in coming to see us, you can see on our website, it has a connection to how you can schedule an appointment. We also have the ability to give online appointments as well. Thank you so much.